Hello, Cancer. Welcome to Map to Love with Catherine Nicole. This is a timeless reading. Whenever you're guided to this, is a perfect time for you. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Always trust your intuition. I have a sort of a guided um, outline that I'm doing, and we're going to start with your self card. Um, with you and your person. You can also view this as your masculine and feminine energies within you. This can be all about you, and you can also view it as you and um, someone that you're thinking of. So let's get started with you, Cancer, for your self card and your person. See what's going on with you. Self card, courage, yeah. Asking for what you want. Finally stepping into your power, setting healthy boundaries, courageously going after your dreams, looking forward instead of looking back, realizing that your power is in now, really stepping in and and really opening up your solar plexus chakra. That's your third chakra, your personal power point, your confidence, feeling very good, taking care of your physical body, just, you know, just feeling good in your own skin, having courage to ask for what you want, having courage to go after your dreams. For your person, frog, ooh, I like that. Purification, clearing out the clutter, detoxifying their physical body, detoxifying their mind and their heart, Um, maybe perhaps even being on some type of detox, letting go of items in their home, cleaning up you know, spring cleaning, so to speak, no matter what time of the year it is, but just clearing out clutter, making space for new things. Beautiful, beautiful healing energy with the frog. Prosperity coming. Very prosperous times for your person. Okay, for you, we're going to choose cards for north, south, east, and west. Earth, fire, air, and water. North. South, east, and west. And at the bottom of the deck for you, just wants to pop out is it's there's time for healing. Healing of old heartache, wounds, rising up, balanced heart space, trusting divine guidance, trusting in your intuition, and the angels are with you, so you're being healed right now. There's healing happening. Now for your person, we're going to get their cards as well. This this deck is all mixed up, I noticed, but uh, it does have some reversals. If they do come out reversed, I don't read reversals, but I will talk about them just so you know. Okay. Your person, north, south, east. West. And at the bottom of your person's deck at this moment, like wants to pop out is the King of Swords. Yeah, they're working on a plan. They're working on communication, finding the balance of their head and their heart. Highly intellectual person. You know, writing out something, writing a book. But this is coming up with a plan of communication. Okay, we've got the north energy, the earth energy, your health, your well-being, but also the spiritual aspects of you pointing north. The princess of swords. What I feel like is you've cut through the illusions that you were once stuck in. And that's you having the courage to speak your truth, stepping into your power, speaking your truth, going after what you want finally, cutting away all that's not serving you and ready. It's like poised and ready for whatever comes your way. And wanting the communication. You know, ready for communication. Perhaps a little guarded just because of what you've been through, but not guarding your heart. Like heart open, but I got my sword if I need to use it. Taking charge of your physical body. Taking charge of your health. Taking charge of your environment. For your person, let's see how they're mirroring you. Oh, look at that. So this came in in reverse, right? So what they've been in a time period of healing, being alone, introspection, meditation. And I feel that they know that the time now is to come out of it. So 
in this time of rest and meditation, they've been purifying themselves, figuring out what they want, finding the balance and peace within, and they're ready to come out of that energy. That's what I'm feeling. They're ready to come out of it. So the self is the fire element, like your sensuality, sexuality, your creativity, spiritual expansion, princess of pentacles. Wow. Birthing a new cycle. You see that? She's pregnant connecting to the higher part of you, connecting to source, connecting to mother earth and bringing abundance in. This is a new opportunity in the physical world. That's what you're manifesting. You're bringing a new opportunity, birthing a new cycle could literally be having a baby. I mean, literally could be birthing this new life. You see the pentacle on her belly. This is a, this is expansion. This is growth, creative projects, new cycle but feeling very grounded and stable and abundant in your spirituality and your creativity and your sexuality and your sensuality, like grounded, stable, connected, beautiful energy for your person. They're working on it. They're putting in the effort to their spiritual growth, to their expansion, to their projects, creativity. Perhaps you're going to work on a creative project together. Perhaps you're working on something together or you will be. That's the offer. That's the communication. Because, you know, this is putting in the effort and this is, you know, it coming into fruition. But very focused um, on their spiritual growth. Very focused on what they've learned so far in the material world. And where do they want to put their efforts in? They're manifesting abundance. They're manifesting this new beginnings and they're reflecting. could quite possibly be letting go of a situation, um, a job, a relationship that they put a lot of effort into, but really isn't serving them anymore. And that's why they've been trying, you know, during this time going within, um, perhaps not having a job or staying at home more like we are during this time period. Focus on where do I want to put my efforts in? That's reflection, right? Where do I want to put this pinnacle? And I feel like it's over here. Do you see that? Like, I want to put this pinnacle over here into this. So by you having the courage to speak your truth and ask for what you want, I feel like that this person is willing to put in the effort and clear out the clutter and, you know, move forward. That's what I feel like. So we're going to get the um, East energy, which is your mental thought, your thoughts in your head, that clarity, what's going on in your head space. Wow, cracking open the new life. See, that's that new cycle, birthing the new life, golden opportunity. In your headspace, feeling good, on fire, ready to communicate, ready to go after your dreams. That's that courage, that strength, that spiritual energy. And you, you've you gotten three princesses out of this whole entire deck. You've got three of the princesses, which really is stepping into and nurturing the divine feminine within you purifying yourself, bringing yourself into the light, whether you're a man or woman, this is connecting to your intuition, your emotions, cutting through the illusions, the fears, cracking open this new life, like really growing spiritually and feeling abundant in your headspace. All these great creative ideas, passionate ideas coming forward for these new beginnings, because this is all about new beginnings, all new beginnings. What about your person? How are they feeling in their headspace? Clear. I want to communicate. That's what I felt. They're coming out of the pause, out of the stillness, because they've taken the time to detoxify and purify themselves and their environments. Where do they want to put their efforts in? They want to communicate. Communication coming in, communicating clearly, instead of from a foggy, distorted position, they're now in a more clear, heart-centered position to communicate. Now, this is going to be uh, water, emotions, feelings, intuition. Where are you at? Cancer. Prince of Wands. Wow. All princesses and a prince. There are some brand new, beautiful beginnings. In your heart space, you're feeling passionate, focused. I want it. I want it now. See, look. Look at this. It's like coming into union with yourself, with the masculine and feminine within. Look. I am focused on this new opportunity, and it's like, here it is, cracking open, this brand new, beautiful opportunity. Wow. This is really powerful, spiritual, creative energy that's moving through you right now. Whatever you focus on, whatever you put your attention to, it's, it's like beautiful, 
golden, abundant, happiness, passion. This is so much passion. You are just lit up, Cancer. Yes, by you stepping into your power, this, these, all these new beginnings are coming to you. So if you're very passionate, what about your person in their heart space? Guarded before, silent before, was not communicating before. That's it. Remember when the Four of Swords, when they're in that energy, not communicating, but coming out of that, they've got the clarity they need or they're getting it very soon. And this is taking that ace, taking this opportunity for clear communication, for purified communication, and actually communicating going forward. You see that? But they were blocked before because it was too cluttery. It was too too many belief systems that didn't serve them, codependencies, addictions, um, people surrounding them, relationships that were not serving them. So they were, they've been taking a rest from that. But I feel like they're coming out of that rest, taking the Ace of Swords and wanting to communicate that they're willing to put in the effort. That's what I'm feeling the most here. And for you, beautiful new beginnings, passionate new beginnings, feeling clear in your heart space, going after your dreams, cracking open, literally birthing this golden opportunity, this new life. And look at this. Wow. <laughs> what did I tell you? The chariot and the four of wands? Wow. This is you, first and foremost, finding complete balance within yourself. Head and heart, masculine, feminine, shadows and light. Being your own pillar of strength, finding that connection, that sacred sexual connection within you, and then you're, you're taking what's in the spiritual world, what you know to be true, your divine sacred lover who's marrying you, and bringing that into the physical, and there's forward movement. Balanced forward movement, stable. This is 11-11, new beginnings for you. The portal is open for new life, divine sacred love. Finding the balance in your divine sacred union. Wow. Because what it takes is you having the courage of just speaking up for yourself from a centered heart space. That's what's going to change everything. That changes everything when you communicate from a centered heart space and you actually speak up for yourself and speak your truth. It may be like a little scary for some, but I promise you it's worth it. I promise you it's worth it because this is what's coming. New beginnings and stability and forward movement. And it's like you're looking that way. Ask for what you want. And what about your person? What are some messages from spirit about your person? What's going on? Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. You guys, come on. Wow. Healing, wish fulfillment, dreams coming true, the star card and the ten of cups. Yeah, that's the communication. It's the love. It's I will put the effort in. I want peace and contentment in this divine sacred union. I want peace and contentment in my own life. So I'm doing what it takes. I'm purifying. I'm detoxifying. I'm going after my wishes. I'm healing. Wow, this is beautiful, gorgeous energy. Look at that. Wow. Four of wands, ten of cups, healing, wish fulfillment, and balanced forward movement. When you speak your truth and ask for what you want. Wow. Wow. And look at this. <clears throat> at the bottom of their deck is the Two of Wands. But look at this. What I feel like is, right, they've been trying to decide, right? They've been at it, like trying to decide, going back and forth. How do I communicate? What do I want? Because this is a choices card. But look, they're not holding on. They're not deciding anymore. It's like that. I got it. I. This is my, this is the Ace of Pentacles. This is my offer. This is, the, see, this is the, <laughs> look at that. They're holding the offer that they want to make in their hand already. They're, 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 they're doing it. They have it. They know. I have this to offer and this is what I want to offer. This is the choice I'm making. This is the decision I'm making. And for you, what's at the bottom for you is healing. Rising above the pain, third party situations, heartache, things that didn't work out in the past. Focusing on this birthing, this brand new life. See, cracking open the egg. The princess of pentacles is pregnant. Literally maybe having a baby. Maybe that's the communication. Like, um, I'm pregnant. And what are we going to do with our babies? I, I really, this is how I want to do it. It could be that for somebody. But if it's not a baby, this is birthing a brand new cycle. Rising up. Heart healing. Look at The swords are out. You're healing. Being restored. Trusting your divine wisdom on how to move forward. The angels are working with you. See feathers, that's a sign. So you're moving forward out of this energy. You see that? For brand new freaking life. 
with your heart open, going after it, dreams coming true. Follow your inspirations. Follow your joy. Follow your heart. Know that you are worthy of great love. You are worthy of abundance on all levels. And it's really, truly important to speak up for yourself and be honest and express yourself and tell someone how you feel. Because you see all of this is like sword energy for this person. Like they want the communication. They want to communicate and they want to do it clearly. And they're healing. And they want this peace and contentment with this union. Wow. I feel if there were any third party situations that they're letting go. They're purifying. They're clearing out that clutter. And third party doesn't always mean a lover. Third party can be a friend or a family member that's just getting in the way. <laughs> Cloud in their judgment, right? So it could be anything. Final advice for you. I hope you enjoyed this. Please reach out to me for a personal reading or healing. I will help you in any way that I can. I'm here for you. I appreciate the support on my channel. Final piece of advice. Look at that. The word Lord. And what just, I've been talking about communication this whole time and ask for what you want. Yeah, communication, praise, no more dishonesty, no more lies, no more manipulation. 43 is a seven, learning the lessons, learning your spiritual lessons and communicating. There's communication coming in. It's time. Look at that. Writing it down. Write down a plan. Write down your gratitude list. What are you thankful for? Praise yourself. Praise others for how far you've come. Praise the Lord. Praise your guides. Whatever this is, but this is the word of the Lord coming through, communicating what you need to do. Look, communication. I mean, there's no doubt about it that there's communication coming in. That is necessary in order to move forward. Yeah. It's necessary in order to move forward towards your dreams. Dancing the sacred dance of life with your sacred lover. This is tapping into your emotions, your sensuality, your sexuality, letting that inner light shine, knowing how powerful you are, going around and around and around with something and never deciding is not going to serve you. It's time to decide, shift your perception, see things from spirit's point of view. All the contrast and the changes and the challenges that you've been through were all part of the plan to help you step into your power and go after what you want. There's blessed changes. Expect the unexpected. Because there is so much beauty coming into your life right now. And this is about you stepping into who you really are. All parts of you, shadows, light, masculine, feminine. Letting that creative, sensual energy exude out of you. You're co-creating with spirit for this communication and these new beginnings. Just dance the sacred dance of life. Just be who you are and trust yourself and trust your guidance. Wishes are coming true. I love you all.